Some dreams are big. Some dreams are small. Some dream to go from place to place. Dreams of love and ever after. Dreams and sacrifices that builds the future. Whatever the dream or step or journey, you can do more with a partner that cares about your dreams. Access more than banking. Welcome back. Well, uh, today I have with me in the studio the immediate past registrar and chief executive of the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers is Mr. Adidiji Ajadi. You are welcome to our program, sir. Thank you very much for uh, having me. Right. Uh, uh, and like I introduced him, he is the immediate past registrar and chief executive of the CISA. It is one thing to start. It is another to finish. Yeah. It is one thing to finish. It's another to finish well. Without crisis, without scandal, finishing on a good slate. First, I want to say very big congratulations uh, to you. But you. my first question, don't let it be funny to you, sir. W what does it take managing a professional institute like the CIS where everybody knows what they are doing? They are well educated, they are enlightened, in fact, I'm tempted to say almost every one of them will be rich because the stock market is there to make everybody rich. Wow. So wow. how was your experience? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, honestly, it was a very exciting experience. Um, I had the honor and the opportunity to, um, to lead the secretariat of the institute. Um, but you see, we have stakeholder groups in the institute. We have our members, we have the council, we have the staff, we have the committees. Uh, I think what makes it work is when everybody works to work together, together towards a particular goal. And I really enjoyed that support in the course of my uh, working for the Institute. So really, really, I want to appreciate everybody. The Council, very supportive. Members of staff, very supportive. Uh, all members of the Institute, they really supported everything we wanted to do. And that, you know, accounted for our, our successes. So you came in at about the time the market was really, uh, really, uh, I, don't, I don't want to say wobbling. The market had not fully recovered from the crash of 2008. How did you survive wow. this period? A very difficult period. <laughs> I must <laughs> confess to you, uh, it, it was almost discouraging mm. because when you saw the situation, you know, members were having challenges even in their own offices. A lot of them lost their job. Mm. The market was down. But it, it, it took courage. Mm. It took decision. It took a determination mm. from all of us mm. to say, look, we must turn this thing around. Mm. And that, that was what we did. We decided on step by step, what are we, the things we need to do to make these things to, to change. And uh, we were able to achieve some of those objectives. And that, that accounted for it. But everybody was supportive as well, just like I told you. So between the time you took over as the chief executive of the institute and the time you have to um, bow out uh, a sort of retirement, so to speak, what will you say about the market, the state of the market then, the state of the market now? Oh, definitely a lot of improvement. <laughs> Even though we are not yet where we want to be, but uh, a whole lot of uh, improvement from we, what we had in 2010, 2011, 2012. Because at that time, even the total structure of the market was not strong enough. Uh, but things have changed right from the regulatory perspective, the SEC, the NSC, they, they, they've been stronger, they've been more focused. They've done a lot of things to improve on the market as a whole. Um, and I think gradually Nigerians have started to also embrace the market, but it was really bad at that time. Don't forget the crash of 2008, 2000, that just happened at uh, that time. So 
you don't want to talk to anybody about investment. They didn't want to listen to you. But at least gradually, the, the confidence is coming back. People are coming back gradually. But just like I said, we still have a lot of work to do. You are not, a, you are not an analyst, so I will not be asking you what stock to in, uh, in, do I invest in or not. <coughs> but I will see you more on the side of regulator. Most often, I know that the general public wants a kind of um, confidence booster. What can you say to make this cameraman knowing fully well that his money is secured in the market? What were the things maybe that the council, that your institute had put in place to ensure the safety of our investment, guiding the activities of the members? Because sincerely, before you came, there were incessant reports. One stop broken firm, one stop broker, and did this. There is the Bonkola's uh, issue in the late, uh, was it early 2000, and all those in the last uh, few, a couple of years, we've not had such reports. What did you do to address such issues? Let, let me um, say that all the different regulatory organizations involved in the market were involved in achieving this. Let me start from the Institute. One is the quality of training that we give to our members. Before you become a stockbroker in Nigeria, you go through exams. Then more importantly, you are taught ethical conduct, mm. standards of professional conduct, the way you should conduct yourself. Mm. We've done a whole lot more in that respect over the years. And so a typical member now knows that I can't do this. I shouldn't, these are not the kind of behavior that I should exhibit in the market. That is very critical. And the Institute has a disciplinary uh, mechanism to discipline members who, have, who refuse to follow those ethical conducts. So we have strengthened that mechanism. Members that are not towing the line of our ethics are removed. We've removed several. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that is a very strong body, you know, that is not willing to take any um, uh, mess from, from anybody. Two, even from the SEC, the, the, the structure is stronger, honestly. The NSC, the structure is stronger. So all the regulators have worked together to ensure that we are not going to allow anyone to destroy this market for us. So we all work together to ensure that that's why you will rarely hear, I've not even as, 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 as Register of, institu of the Institute, in the last couple of years, very few complaints coming from the public. That shows that we did some certain things right, and we need to continue to do that. So we need to continue to work on that and give confidence to everybody, every Nigerian, that you can come to the market confident that your money will be safe. You can confidently come to the market knowing fully well that your money would be saved. Stop taking your money to Ponzi schemes where they will promise you 200 percent in two days when such people add me on facebook what i do immediately is to block them i'm not interested you grow your wealth gradually over time wealth is never grown in 24 hours mr ajadi here has told you he's been there and for about nine years or more 11 years 11 in the years institute? yeah all right so he has been there, he has seen it, and thank God he is able to make it here today. These are the things you need to hear. These are the kind of people you need to listen to. The market is there for you to create wealth. You cannot just stay aloof and then be complaining that things are hard in Nigeria. Now, sir, let me, maybe this we address, as a matter of fact, we are going to crop it and then make sure that we distribute it to address our youth, young university graduates. Yeah. Those who did probably economics, they did business admin, they are looking for employment, they have not been able to get. Sir, I've been in this market close to 30 years. I didn't want to become a stockbroker. I just like what I do, mm -hmm. all right? Because if I should become a member of your institute, you'll be regulating me. <laughs> so you will come here and tell me, I cannot say this, I cannot say that. That is by the way. So what are the advantages of being a stockbroker over and above some other professional bodies? 
Wow. Um, very good question. Uh, and I want to encourage uh, young people out there. You know, a lot of people are struggling. They are looking for a job. Enhance your capacity mm. through opportunities like this. Let me also say, don't bother about what you study earlier because the institute has opened the door for everybody. Mm. I studied agriculture. Wow. First degree, second degree. Before I became a stockbroker. Okay. Yeah. So if you study Yoruba, if you study geography, and French. you're out there, you study French, and you think it is not possible. English. We have so many stockbrokers. I have people from medicine, medical doctors, yeah. who came back to study stockbroking. Yes. So when you come, you just write our exam, you register, you write level one, level two. We teach you all the rudimentaries. All the things that um, uh, Elijah will be talking about later today, and myself have been talking about, you will learn all those basics. And let me tell you, the stockbroking profession opens doors of opportunities for you. Mm. You can't have that certificate and not have opportunities in this market. Most importantly, and I remember when I wanted to write my stockbroking exam many years ago, because I really wasn't looking for a job. I was working in a bank and all of that. One thing I thought to myself, when I retire, mm. and I have a pool of funds, with this training, even if I don't use it for anything else, I know what to do use with my money. Use it for yourself. Use it for myself. As a matter of fact, with the opportunity that has been created yeah. now, that you can just get connected to the site of a stockbroking firm, yeah. with what you will know, you will trade for yourself. Sorry, I'm only, I'm only interjecting. I, no, I agree with you. <laughs> you are helping me. You can do your trading for yourself. You don't, if you ask anybody question, like that, it's just because you just want to discuss. You know what to do. Mm. And that is a critical factor mm. for any, anybody. So it's so important for us to draw more young people to this profession. Fantastic profession. I tell you, mm. you will not regret, you know, becoming a stockbroker. It, it, is, it is not the, the, the kind of professional training you get. And you now still begin to look for job and uh, employment that are not readily available. In other words, with your CIS professional qualification, yeah. you can employ yourself. You are already employed. <laughs> <laughs> Just get 100,000 naira somewhere. You can, you can <laughs> build that money into millions. And you know, professionals among us who, who have gone through that route can, can give you testimonies. Uh, uh, can talk how, to easy, you. how easy is it? You just said it <laughs> as if writing those things is very how easy is it to, to start and then complete? What is the duration? There how, are, how expensive is it? Also, okay, let, let, me, let me break it down. Years back, it used to be when we wrote exams, we used to write three levels, and you had to pass all the papers at the same time. Now, we've over the years, we've made it simpler mm. for young people. There are now only two levels of the exams, level one and level two. Level one gives you the rudimentary knowledge, economics, all those basic knowledge you need to know. And level two now gives you the practical knowledge of equity valuation, derivatives that you need to know, just in two levels. Now, there is a credit system, meaning that once you pass a paper, it's credited to you. So mm. even if you don't pass some other papers, it is only the ones you fail that you write. So it's become more flexible for people. You can finish this exam in a year. Wow. So if you write your level one in the March diet and you pass, you write the second one in September, you pass, you become a, a charter stockbroker. No, 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 but before <laughs> they eventually become, they will still go and do all that. And they, then face no, some they, they do Just mini, mini, minimum experience, not even the other. That is like antiquity. Yeah, a little bit of experience just to know what this, 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 this industry is all about. Mm. And then you can apply and become a full member of the institute. So it's, it's a lot easier for the younger people to become members. As I thank you. God that we even spoke, and I thank God that you were able to make it. Before I allow you to go to Sir, because of our time, what are the messages you have to the public? as far as the market is concerned, mm. the kind of structures you have placed there in um, uh, partnership with other regulators, those that are still standing there saying that the market crashed in 2008 because they lost money, they don't want to come to the stock market again because one stockbroker back in days defrauded them and then now they see all stockbrokers as being fraudulent. Even as a stockbroker is talking to them at the back of their mind, hmm? this man is not... <laughs> Is it not a thief? And then, so what is your basic message to those that are watching? Thank you. I'm going to address three or four categories of people, just like right. you said. Number one, to our young people, please take your future into your hands. Mm. 
yes, the economy is difficult, the environment may be difficult, you can take a decision today to make a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. Come and write this exam. Become a stop I have a professional certification that equips you to be better. Two, every single... And it's not expensive. It is not expensive. It is not expensive. I don't... I can't remember all the figures. No, we shouldn't even talk it, about I mean, it. It's, it's not, it's when not, they it's make the inquiries. And then you can write the paper by... It's flexible for you. Mm -hmm. Two, every Nigerian that uh, has 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, just like you mentioned, don't go and put your money in Ponzi scheme. Mm. The capital market is a mechanism that has been tested for years all over the world. Yes, it works. You cannot invest today and think in five years' time it will be say it will grow. But it is a gradual, consistent process. Please talk to your investment advisor. They will advise you on what to do. People are making money in yes, this market. Yes, if you sir. don't, if you have not experienced it, it's because you are, you are not there. <laughs> People are making themselves millionaires in this market, this same market. So please take advantage of it. To our regulators and the, uh, and the institute, of course, we will continue to do our best. But finally, even to government, we need to develop this market mm -hmm. deliberately. I learned some basic things in my first economics courses many years ago. The development of any economy, it, there is a direct correlation between the economic, economic development and the market. capital market development. Right. Because the capital market is the mechanism for boosting and developing capital. Yes, sir. Every developed economy has a system by which they mobilize funds and capital. That's true. And that is the capital market. That's true, sir. So I, I don't think government is doing enough. We are doing something, but we need to do a lot, of, a lot more effort. Focus on this market. If we are going to develop uh, this economy, we need to develop the capital okay. market. So all the different categories of stakeholders, the capital market is a major sure approach for us to grow this economy. And I want to encourage all of us to be part of it. Yes, sir, there are still a lot, a lot we still need to discuss. And I want to be sure that when else we call uh, on you, as you just said yes to us, wants no argument, not that I'm busy, all right? I'm very, very sure you will be available uh, for us again. So thank you so much for coming. Thank Happy you. retirement. Thank you. And in your subsequent and the next endeavor, we pray that the Lord will bless you as he blessed you with the Chartered Institute of Stone Thank, thank you, thank you sir. Thank so you. I've been speaking with Mr. Adideji Ajadi, the immediate past a registrar and chief executive, Chartered Institute of Stone Brokers. We're definitely having more and more on this platform. Now I will go on a short break. When I return. First Money is Nigeria's biggest and most preferred agent banking network. Thanks to First Money, millions of people are living their dreams. Meet some First Money agents who are driving this. First Money is the best POS that we use in my area. I started with one container beside me. This is my main branch. I have up to seven branches. With first morning, I've been able to employ six staffs, which five are female. So I see first morning as a business to employ and also to empower ladies. Through First Money, over 1 million people across Nigeria have their financial services needs met daily. In all the accessible local government areas, you are bound to find First Money agents. With First Money, we're bringing financial inclusion and the many benefits that come with it. You first, first bank.